Hey guys, uh, Rohan here. So, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this kind of realistic fire effect, as you can see in these two renders I made. So it's pretty easy. It's a very easy method. I can. There's not much to do, and you don't need any kind of additional software such as uh, Houdini, uh, X Particles, or uh, Tubelens FD. So you know you won't need to require any kind of software like that. So it's just inside Cinema 4D and Optimus. Okay, so before we head on to Cinema 4D, uh, you can see I'm using these kind of textures. So you can just uh, search fire black background. That's what I search for these images, and you can find anything. You can use this one. You can use this one. It depends on what kind of scene you're working with, on or which kind of fire texture you want. So I'm gonna work with something like this one, uh, or for example this one. But I've already saved one uh, an, an image which I'm gonna use. So let's head on to Cinema 4D. Okay, so we're in Cinema 4D and I've already created a scene as you can see to work with and so first let's create an Octane shader over here and then let's open Node Editor and from here let's create an image texture which we're gonna link to our Diffuse channel and then from here we're gonna um, link the, uh, the, the one, the, the fire texture we've chosen and we're gonna use the same fire texture uh, for the emission. So you go to emission and then you click on black body emission and then you select the same image texture. And then now we're gonna head to Photoshop so to create the alpha map. Okay, so we're now in Photoshop where we're gonna create our alpha map. So I've already imported uh, the image texture that we were using as a diffuse. And what we have to do next is click on gradient map and then click on reverse which is going to invert it and then we're going to increase the exposure which we will click over here this one and then we're going to increase it and I think this much is fine yep this much looks fine and then we just have to export it and then let's head on to cinema 4d okay so we are back in cinema 4d so now what we have to do is we're going to click on our material we're gonna go to opacity and then we're gonna select our alpha map that we just created so it's this one and let's click on no and yeah now let's add a plane and bring it up we're gonna rotate it decrease the size let me just yep we're gonna decrease the size and then we can just apply this texture that we just created and it's it's as you can see it's sideways so we can just rotate it so we just rotate it real quick and it's a bit thin too so we can make it wider not too much i think this much looks fine yep that's perfect and uh, what i've also done is that i've added some bloom power uh, which is optional i would recommend it you can see if i turn it off and then when I turn it on, you can see the difference. Uh, with it on, you can see it looks much more better. Also, what you can do is you can go to the emission, and you can go to you can just mess with the power settings. For example, you can decrease the power and you can increase it, and it depends how much you want. And you can, I mean, I, I would keep it around over here. I think this much looks fine. This much, I think that looks perfect. Okay, so that's how you create the fire in Cinema 4D and Octane. And the next thing left is post-production in which we're gonna add the smoke in Photoshop. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop to do our post-production. So before we start our post-production, I'm gonna show you. So over here you can see I just searched up smoke black background and this is where you're gonna find uh, most of your smoke textures. And this is where I got them from. Uh, you just need to skim through and find whichever ones are good. Okay, so first thing you want to do is we're gonna click on file and then select place embedded. And then I'm gonna select the uh, texture, the smoke texture I chose. So it was this one was actually with the transparent backgrounds, which is much more better. So I'm just gonna, I think this way it will look better. I'll just increase the size. And place it over here and I can the blend mode I can uh, select it to color dodge and then make the opacity L5 
so as you can see it looks much more better now you can see the smoke around the fire in the area okay so now next thing we can do is we can add another smoke layer so for this one uh, I actually made this smoke texture myself using a VDB in Cinema 4D so it's this one uh, if you want this texture you can DM me your mail and I can send it to you uh, and my Instagram is linked in the description so you can just feel, feel free to DM me so this one I'm using this texture that I created so I can let me just increase the size rotate it I think and for this one we're not gonna choose bl uh, color blend for the blend mode for this we're gonna choose screen and then we can then bring it to the right size I think over here will look fine and then we can erase this area so make sure the hardness is all the way low and we can just get rid of this over here and then we can decrease the opacity and yeah I think that, that looks pretty good so yeah that's how you make fire realistic fire using cinema 4d and octane and also photoshop for post production and yeah that's pretty much it uh, hope you guys found this helpful and i'm sure you guys can make this easily and it's quite an easy method and if you found this video helpful uh, make sure to like it and if you didn't find it helpful please feel free to dislike it so i know if it was helpful for you or not and yeah that's pretty much it see ya